Hi folks, this is a short video sec uh, segment which uh, uh, discusses the chapter 14, which is the C-clamp mechanism. It's a very simple problem. It's consisting of two parts. This may look complicated, but it's actually two parts. There's the C, which is uh, uh, this top portion, and then there is the bottom portion, which is, is a handle. It's called a handle. Now, uh, a C-clamp, or a, a screw, this is based on a screw joint, so once you turn the handle 360 degrees, the entire bottom piece moves up by some amount, which is actually the pitch uh, associated with the screw joint. So, in a sense, a screw joint is a fancy uh, cylindrical joint where the two degrees of freedom, which are rotation and translation, are not independent of each other. They're related by pitch. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead and make this thing, ignoring any dimensions that uh, may be involved here. Let me start with the product file. All right, uh, so insert new part in there, ignoring any dimensions. Uh, let me also make this thing, uh, while we're at it, let me make it a bright, nice color, red. Okay, let's make it, the, uh, rename this thing to be the C-clamp uh, properties, I'll call it clamp actually, clamp, and uh, down here, clamp, okay, uh, make it, double click on a convenient plane, on that vertical plane, I will sketch, uh, something that resembles the C that I uh, showed you, so uh, ignore all dimensions, there we are, okay, I'm trying to ignore uh, uh, any dimensions, and any constraints, there we are, okay, hopefully it's a closed curve, so let's pad it, and in both directions, and let me make this thing uh, one inch, okay, good. Now, on the top plane, I will sketch a circle, perhaps something like this, exit, pad it, in the other direction, and then on that face, on this face, I will sketch since I can't see what I'm doing here, let me change the rendering to wireframe. There we are. Okay, so uh, we'll draw a circle, concentric circle. That's the grip area, I'll think about it. So there we are. And uh, you pad it by maybe point, uh, 0.2. And let me change the rendering. Okay, good. I also want to drill a hole down here where the handle is going to go through. So perhaps on this face, I will sketch. Well, easiest way is to project, uh, an easy way is to project this uh, circle on it and then make a pocket. Let me zoom in. So. There. Exit, and make a pocket, all the way to the end, last, okay, very good, alright, then we're going to do the handle, so uh, double click, insert, insert, new part, in there, and we call it the handle, right? Let me change the name of this thing. Properties, handle. And the handle. All right, let's make it. I'm going to change the color of this thing to... Uh, something nice and bright, maybe green, and let's make it.
Okay, so on a convenient plane, how about uh, on, uh, oh, I don't know, on this plane, I'm going to sketch. Why don't I project that circle? There we are. And then we pad it. Exit. And pad. Uh, 0.3 All right, so uh, let me move this thing up a little bit So move this thing uh, up because I want to do the rest of this Okay, and on uh, This plane I'm going to sketch. Oops first. Let's go to the handle on this plane, I'm going to sketch, projecting that little circle. Yep, right there. Exit, and now pad it until we're satisfied with how long this is going to go down. Okay, fine. All right. Now, uh, we still need the actual handle to make, so on a convenient plane, perhaps on this plane, I'm going to sketch a circle here. Supposedly, this is the, the actual handle. Exit. Okay, so uh, I drew my circle back there, so that's okay. So we're going to, we're going to, uh, pad, pad this, not the pad, yeah, this, let me see, yeah, that's good, except that I really don't want it to start there, so I'll go to more, and then use the other limit to bring it to the position that I want, maybe let me make this thing, oh, uh, sorry, uh, minus, yeah, minus obviously 1.5. Ah, good. Okay. All right, that's pretty much it. So uh, we now go and create our uh, uh, constraints. Actually, why don't we just anchor the clamp? There's the clamp. It's anchor, and. Uh, all I need to do, there's really nothing else in there, so I just go to Digital Mockup, DMU Kinematics, uh, get the magic wand out. Well, there's no constraint, I didn't make any constraints, so magic, making the magic wand is useless. Uh, so uh, let me see now. Uh, uh, let's find a screw joint. There's a screw joint. Uh, we're creating a new mechanism, the name of the mechanism number one. And notice that in screw joint, all you need is to specify two lines. So the axis of this and the axis of that or the axis of the hole, it really doesn't matter because they're lined up. And then the pitch. Now the pitch, it turns out that this has a default unit of millimeters. So uh, uh, millimeter, and I'm using inches here. So let me make it uh, maybe uh, uh, perhaps uh, 30 millimeters. And you cannot actually type mm here so uh, probably you can go and set set it somewhere else in the tools options but i'll just just leave it like this and now notice that there is, it can be defined as length driven or angle driven so we say okay and really there is nothing else in there so you just go there single degree of freedom the joint is a screw joint you double click on it you have a choice of making it uh, length driven or angle driven so i'll make it uh, say angle driven and I will turn it for 0 to 3, well, actually, minus 360 to 360, okay, that's fine. So let's see what happens here. Uh, simulation with command. Oh, uh, the, the anchor did not go directly from uh, the assembly design, although I, I did anchor it because the magic one was not used. So we have to anchor it ourselves. Where's the anchor? Right there. Fixed part. And now we can uh, try this. I left it at minus 360 to 360. You can see this is minus 360. It goes down by 30 millimeter because that's what the pitch was. And this one goes by uh, 360. So obviously it's going through the part 
uh, perhaps the picture should change it or make this thing taller I don't know so that that's up to us so uh, let me see now let me go and change the pitch uh, instead of being 30 or make it uh, 15 so that it doesn't actually go through the thing so we can make a cartoon here nothing exciting there is no physics the only physics that's in there really it ah uh, that's still going through it that's okay you get the picture Uh, the only physics that's there is the relationship between the pitch, and the the angle, and the, the the length, the advancing length, which is defined by the pitch. Nothing else. All right, so uh, we'll stop this. Easy for you.